switch back and forth between kick drums during some songs. So it, it comes in real handy because you know now all the songs are so drum heavy produced. So that's that's the need for three snare drums and two kick drums. You know? Makes sense. We try it. We try it to not have as Okay, we try to have as little as possible in Pro Tools. Okay. Still got to go in and tune for today, but they haven't been touched since the last show. Sure. An hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes of playing. That's Best part about these heads, when you got your bottom head tuned in right, all you got to do is drop a new top head, crank it down a little bit, it's thunder. I mean, it just goes off and it's real easy. Once you got your bottom head tuned, doing the tops, it's it's like, it's one of the easiest parts. It's probably the most fun you're going to have tuning drums is dropping these on. Uh, every day that I want to change heads, it it's like a dream. You can just drop it on, crank it down a little bit. And there you go. There's no tapping around. There's no defective heads. I've yet to, we've been teching these for what, three years now? Mm -hmm. Gone through countless amounts of heads. Never had a bad one. They always ring out for me. So I can't say enough of how it makes my job very easy to tune and tech these drums. Evan's heads all the way. It's the only thing I can suggest, guys. And also during the show, no tuning slippage at all. I mean, they, they stay all night long. No problem, so I'm not constantly you know, with the drum key trying to, you know, change Tweak. something, they, they're, they're so it's, you set and you forget with these. No tweaking to be done during the show. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah.